Hi everyone, welcome back. We're back where we were before September, still doing a bit of log work here. Now this is up in the old plots, up around the cattles. To do something with the wood, I decided to buy myself a new facility. So this is kind of like a sawmill thing, but it makes uh, pallets of planks and stuff like that. So I needed to clear a little bit of space, take down some big trees, get all this stuff in here, and ooh, 19,000 litres of wood, but she holds a lot of wood in there. So that's good though, because uh, I need to start doing something with these trees. A load of milk going out as well. I'm going to sell this one straight down there. I think this stuff should bring in a fair decent amount of money, about 20, 20 odd thousand in this. Um, what's that? Yeah, 20, nearly 25,000 by the time you add in the environmental. So that's a good one for a load of milk. And then into the fields doing a bit of spray work as well. We see this new John Deere sprayer doing very nicely there when we're spraying on the weeds and we're rained off almost straight away. Typical. Just wanted to get in and get some work done. So whilst it's raining, we'll go around and do a bit of pallet work as well. This little warehouse at the minute, I'm going to have to start looking for something better. I'm producing too much stuff now. It only holds 5,000 litres of each type and I'm maxing that out in too many things now. Don't know what I'm going to do, I haven't got any other options at the minute, so it's just going to live, live outside. Another pallet, another load of firewood pallets, that's what I'm trying to say, coming down as well. Um, may as well get them shifted throughout the year, just so I'm not doing it all in one night at the end. And keeping these toys top, cows topped up as well, a bit more TMR going in. Farm's definitely growing. I definitely notice I'm busy all the time now. There's no months where I don't really have anything that I'm just sitting about doing nothing. Still munching through this silage as well. Hope that's going to see me through. I may need to bale a few more bales. Um, can't really not do hay again. I definitely have to do hay again. Um, I could do with doing a load of silage as well. There may be enough there to see me through to next year. Could be touch and go, but yeah, I might, I might risk a few bales, or I may may try and play it out. I'm not sure. Loads of straw. Anybody need some straw? Give us a call. I'll sell you straw. Um, it's coming out my ears at the minute. I need to get rid of that stuff. With that forage wagon loaded up, taking a few bales up to these cattle up here now as well. I'm pretty sure these will just disappear straight away. Um, they're always hungry, these things. And that's really where a lot of my grass and straw and stuff's going just straight into them. I'll throw a couple of bales in for bedding here as well. It's really all I've got to do with this at the minute. I've got loads of manure sitting here as well. I should either start looking at buying a manure spreader or just selling it straight out too. Uh, I keep, keep building this stuff up. I haven't done anything with the slurry yet as well. So really, when you start looking at buying machines for that too, it just hasn't been a priority at the minute. Priority right now at the rain stop though is to get this barley in the field. So we'll get the worker onto that again. Definitely need to get that planted because I'm going to need lots of that next year for the chickens. And finally we get back to doing the job that we started today as well, getting the sprayer out. Uh, we've got rained off this morning, midday now, so plenty of time left in the day yet. But it is September, so the nights start drawing in. I, uh, I don't get, you know, really late evenings anymore, so I need to be careful that I don't kind of overrun the day and start jobs too late. So we'll go at the back, get this grass cut up. Um, as I say, because we, we can't afford to run into the night, it gets dark earlier than you suspect at this time of year. Whilst the workers doing the mowing, I'll go out do the wrecking, and then whilst the workers doing the wrecking, I'll go out do the bailing. It's a never-ending job. We're clearing a field in a matter of hours now, but it, um, it takes time. And it's busy, busy work. It's a big field, this as well, and it's a lot of manual work, this bailing and picking up and whatnot, so there's only so much the workers can do for you. But this is good to see, because we really need a lot of uh, a lot of hay. We give these bales a shunt out, and these cows can have this entire trailer load. That should surely keep them going for a bit. They can't complain about that. The ones that we had up the top will drop off and the sheep, you see they ate the whole load that we've given them pre previously as well, so they're not long on going through it. I don't know if things have been adjusted lately in this game, or do animals eat more grass now than they used to? It didn't seem like they needed this amount of stuff last time we played No Man's Land, but uh, maybe it's just I've forgotten how much grass we had to do before, but yeah, it seems to be now I'd need to run at least two side 
or sorry, two silage fields, two grass fields to keep up on this. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look at really upping my grass production and changing mowers and stuff like that sometime. Ah, oh, there we go, folks. I'm chatting about mowing grass, and that's our five minutes up for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've got plans for the future coming up. Big load of straw going in here. That'll get rid of some of that. We'll see you later, guys. Enjoy. Bye now.